Thank you for coming here. Stephen Harper is just not ready to participate in the national televised debates. I, Sir Buttercup Von Dingus, believe the Conservative Party of Canada needs a voice in these debates, and I'm willing to be that voice. I know what Canadians want. I read the comments. Canada's got one thing, oil, and we need to give it to our friends. Well, actually, it's got two things, water, but we need to sell that. Your government has misplaced $3.6 billion of defense funding. Where did that money go? Sure, some of that money went to jobs. Canadians work, don't they? Taxes are confusing for a lot of people. Canadians. You forget what made this country great. Residential schools, internment camps, and war. A couple of wars. Hey, do you communists want him to finish his hockey book? Huh? The opposition stood with the child pornographers long ago. Matter of record. What do you mean we don't care about First Nations culture? Do you have any idea how many ribbons I've cut wearing this hat? We're just gonna keep doing the same thing we've always done. Eventually something's gotta change. Hey, I mean the last time we gave the RCMP the power we're giving CSIS, they blew up some sheds and stole some mail. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The terrorists are everywhere. Do you have any idea how much we love our veterans? We're gonna build them a big statue. That's how much. How much money did the Prime Minister direct to be paid to my government? Good question. That's before the courts. Sure, all the information will come out. About eight months. It's good, because we only need 90 days. Do you have any idea how unsafe you are right now? Town hall question from the audience. Um, yeah, Mr. Buttercup, um, you guys changed the retirement age to 67. What would you say to uh, a, a, a man who's in his mid-40s and has hurt his back working carpentry? You can work hard till you're 70. Um, carpentry? Yeah, should have thought of that before you hurt your back. Sir Buttercup, what do you say to the young families that are trying to buy a house and a car? What are you talking about? There's so much cheap money flying around. You could buy a house and a car and not have to worry about it till later. Just, uh, you know, your government was elected on a mandate of not increasing taxes, but you haven't lowered taxes. And I just wonder how a conservative government after 10 years in power reconciles that. No, we haven't lowered taxes. We've lowered interest rates until we can't anymore. We want you to spend more money that you don't have. Is that too much to ask? The Harper government is our best chance for survival. When it wakes, Stephen is the only one that knows how to recite the glyphs in the appropriate order. How long have we been in power? Ten years? How long have they been in power? Never? <laughs> they wouldn't know how to kill the terrorists. We're not going to teach them. Have some goddamn faith in what we're doing. Yeah, it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Uh